The evacuation order is still in effect for the four mile radius around the plant. A lot of people listening to that warning. In fact, most of Mid County has been described as a ghost town. 12 News reporter Jordan James, he's in Port Natchez right now. Jordan, what have you been seeing? Lauren, I've been driving around the evacuation zone area and for the most part, it's like a ghost town with the exception of a few folks who are out boarding up their homes and businesses. Since the fire is still burning, the evacuation order will not be lifted for folks living in Port Natchez, Groves, Nederland and parts of Port Arthur. That's roughly 50,000 people who are impacted by this fire. At today's press conference, city and county leaders say the order will not be lifted until they believe all residents are safe and that news could impact some folks holiday shopping plans. Well, I think that most of them will not have been open today in any event. For some of the national retailers, uh, tomorrow morning might not be as black a Friday as they wanted as far as bar bottom line is concerned. The biggest thing officials are trying to stress is that this is not a house fire. It's a refinery fire, which means it's going to take a little bit longer to put out. So they're encouraging folks to just simply be patient. Tomorrow, city and county leaders will gather to determine when the evacuation order will be lifted. Once we get that information, we'll be sure to get it out to you. Reporting here in Mid County, Jordan James, 12 News. Thanks, Jordan. And as he just described, people were boarding up their homes. So if you sustained any property damage, make sure you have this number handy. You're going to want to call 866-601-5880. This is the insurance claim number from the TPC group for you to report any damages following the explosions. You can also visit www.portnhsresponse.com to stay up to date on any new 